Okay, so we're going to look at this FFA web quest that Miss Lucy has posted. All right, so I'm going into my classwork. It is what we call a PBA or project based assessment. So I'm coming here for it. And now here is the information, right? So I'm going to read that very first part of the post. So you are about to immerse yourself in a web quest. This is a web based assignment that should have you exploring what the FFA organization is all about in hopes that you will find worth in joining. Our veterinary assistant class is also considered an agriculture class. So this will give you some insight as to what that really means. So our instructions are here. We're going to open up the web quest. We're going to complete all the instruction and tasks or steps contained within that website. We're going to add and edit the documents in the assignment as we follow the quest and attach photos of completed work if we're doing this on paper or in the notebook. Make sure your market is done and turned in when all of those steps have been completed. So I'm going to open up this assignment and I can see I have three physical assignments here and I'm also going to have to add and create an assignment. So if I'm doing it on paper, I do need to add photos of both sides of all of the pictures that I'm using or all of the um, physical copies. Do make sure that when you are posting photos that I can actually read the image that you're attaching a photo on. I don't just want to see scribbles and paper. I want to be able to actually make out all of the different writing on there. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the web quest and follow the directions. This is as much as a reading assignment as it is a project because all of this is on your own. So you are going to need to read all the steps. All right. So I'm on the homepage, how FFA can influence your life. All right. So welcome to your FFA web quest. Through this journey, you will learn about the many opportunities FFA provides to enhance your high school experience, scholarship opportunities, and promote career development. I did not have the opportunity to join FFA in my high school, but it's something that I wish I could have, and I totally do wish I could have joined FFA. This quest will be your journey into a world you may or may not have known existed. It will be a chance for you to see what other students are doing across the country and why FFA is the largest student-run organization in the nation. So already I've learned something new, that FFA is the largest student-run organization in the nation. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to accept my quest and discover what FFA is all about. It says click me. Throughout the website, we've got these little buttons at the bottom of the sites of the pages. So that's what you're going to use to help you navigate. All right, so our quest. You're going to take yourself back to your freshman year of high school. You enter into the main hallway of your school and there are tables set up of different clubs and activities you can become part of. You see a table with a blue tablecloth and gold emblem of FFA. Your curiosity is sparked, so you head over to the table to find out more. You guys remember that day when you were just shorter, maybe a little bit less well-dressed as you are now, right? Walking into that building, being all kind of intimidated. Some of you were like, oh yeah, I'm going to own this school, right? So think about that night that you were able to go in and see all the different clubs and organizations. All right, so with my bottom button, here lies a pamphlet for more information. Click me. All right, so you go over to that table. You're going to pick up the pamphlet, and now here's the process of what we're going to be doing for our web quest. All right, you're curious about FFA? Well, I can say that I believe the organization prides itself in challenging students to grow and develop both personally and professionally. You can scratch the surface on what the organization has to offer by following the steps below. I will say that this experience is what you make of it. The more you bring to the table, the more there is on it. And I will say Miss Alessi has brought over 20 hours of her own time onto this particular table. Uh, so this should take you a minimum of five hours to complete. A minimum, right? Okay, so now the actual assignment part. So there are, there is an assignment associated with each step of the quest that must be completed for you to earn credit and fully experience this process. Navigate from step one through to step four. You may return to this page to reach each step. Use the drop down navigation pane at the top right of the site or follow the trails along the bottom of each page to advance your journey. So up here we are on the process part and that brings you to step one, step two, step three, step four. Okay, so if you want to do that way. So you've got that. Now, by the end of this journey, by the end of this process, if I see where it says conclusion, I'm going to click on that. We've got our conclusion. When you're done with this, 
here is a form of your FFA membership. So I'd like to know if you are or are not interested in joining, and maybe you are, maybe you already did and you paid. Okay, so you're gonna complete that. Those of you that are interested in after you've completed this process or you know for sure you wanna take a leadership role, the Wilco FFA officer application is attached here. So I want you to go ahead and click on that if you'd like to be an officer. And then um, when we hold our meeting, we'll actually give speeches. And so we'll elect our officer team there and then. All right, so back to that process page. So I'm gonna go to step one and I'm gonna discover what FFA truly stands for. Okay, so I'm gonna click step one, what's FFA? So again, remember, I'm at that table in my high school hallway, all right? I've got that pamphlet in my hand. I'm a little curious, a little not sure of myself because I'm still a freshman, all right? So you see a monitor set up on the FFA booth playing information about what FFA is, as well as a brochure with information. The choice is yours. You may take the brochure or and read it, or you may watch the videos. So. In each of these steps, you're gonna have a choice. There's gonna be either audio or visual information for you, or there'll be written information for you. So we're gonna decide what we're gonna do. Um, you know what, that video looks really catchy, so I think I'm gonna play the video. So here's my videos you choose to watch are below. I'm gonna click the drop down. It gives me four videos. And then it tells me all videos can be found here, so I'm gonna have to click that link. Watch them in order, they are listed. By all means, I may explore and watch more but I need to watch these four and I need to watch them in order. I'm gonna highlight that name just in case I can't find it right away. I'm gonna click here, All right? It's gonna redirect me to the FFA website. Now I am going to click find. Remember we said that control F button and then I paste it in there and then it brings me into that video. So then I'm gonna watch the video, okay? Now I'm gonna go back to my tab that I still have open I'm gonna select what is an FFA member, copy that, bring it in here, hit find, find it, what is an FFA member, and I'm gonna click there. There's that we are FFA video we watched in class. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to my web quest. Okay, so do that for those four videos, watch them. If I want to do, if and once I'm done watching the videos, I'm gonna do the task. So at the bottom of each step, you have a task. That's your assignment. So as you learn about FFA, you are to list the following in your notebook. You're gonna have 15 different pieces of information. So this is a five, four, three, two, one, instead of just a three, two, one. So I'm gonna put five pieces of information I've gained, four ways I believe FFA may benefit me, three questions I still have about FFA, two reasons someone might have for joining FFA and one fact I found the most interesting or something that I piqued my interest or curiosity. Okay, So this again, sentence structures, you can have five different paragraphs if you'd like uh, or five different chunks in your writing. Put it in your notebook, take a picture and upload it to the assignment or I can go to my assignment, I can click add or create a doc and I can write those things in that document. Okay, So those are our options for that. Now, say I don't want to watch the videos, and I'm like, you know what, I'm more of a reader. I want to pick up that piece of paper, I want to smell that paper in my hand, so I am going to choose the brochure. So here's the brochure, I'm just going to click there, and then here's my FFA impact report. So I'm going to read the information that's in this impact report, okay, and I'm going to look at that, and then I'm going to read all about it through this document and I can see some really cool like colorful pictures, infographics and things and it's going to give me some statistics. Now you'll gain different information from reading, either reading or from watching the videos, but you're still going to learn about FFA. All right, so now I've finished doing either. I made sure I wrote my 15 things. I went into my assignment. I uploaded it right away so I don't have to think about it. Now I finished learning about FFA basics and noticed something else on the table. Hmm, I wonder what it is. Oh, it's about career development events. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna scroll down. I am gonna watch this video because there's no, all right, there's no option for me. So I'm gonna watch this video. After I see the video I play on the screen, I notice that spread around the table are trophies and ribbons. Your hand reaches out but then hesitates and you decide to grab what? Are you gonna grab the trophy or are you gonna grab the ribbons? So if you grab the trophies, you're going to read about 
your CDEs and LDEs. So you're actually not going to read, sorry, you're going to watch, right? So directions, you're going to watch the information presented on at least three CDEs and three LDEs. So you're going to watch a total of six video events. Each is labeled. So ag sales is a CDE. Ag issues is an LDE. All right. So that is going to be that piece of the assignment. If I don't want to watch the video and I want to grab the trophies, then I'm going to read about them. Okay. So the trophies is the audio visual and then the ribbons are the reading aspect of it. Okay. So still again, same CDEs, LDEs, it's all labeled there for you. So I'm done with that. I go down. Oh, you still have just a few questions. So if I want to know more, I'm going to go ahead and click on those things, right? So how do I know if I'm eligible to participate? And then what do you really do at one of these events? So that's going to give you some more information. All right. So what is our task? We're going to research further into at least six of the available CDEs and LDEs available, three of each, compare and contrast an event from each category, and then support an argument for the event you believe is the most rewarding to participate in. If you have no desire to participate, make an argument encouraging someone to participate in what you feel would be the best to enhance a resume for a college or a career. You may use Google Doc PBA 1.A CDE comparison to complete this task, or you can create your own file, video, or artifact, but must submit your final product in the classroom assignment and follow the requirements below. So you need to look at three of the CDEs, three of the LDEs, compare and contrast one of each together, include a minimum of four bullet points in each similarity and differences between the events, and then you're going to formulate your opinion on which of the compared events you want to participate in, include the following in your argument. I need to talk about the benefit of participating, I need to summarize what the event entails, and I need to describe how this event is superior to the others. I'm going to complete that using my form, PBA, 1.8 CDE comparison. So all that's there for you. Or I can do a different type of document or maybe even I want to make a poster up to you guys. But you need all of that information in there. All right. So you place the item back on the table with the intent to leave. Click me. Step three, supervise ag experiences. All right. So again, read through once you've placed the item back, you notice a few students standing at the table that are in the variety of different uniforms. You are curious as to why you see someone wearing a gauntlet on their hand and another in jeans and a hoodie, while yet another stands it, student is in business attire. We're wearing our uniforms that were required for our job shadow experience. The student with the gauntlet has a few videos for you to watch, while the one in jeans and hoodie has a packet of information to hand you. Make the choice of how you will learn more about supervised agricultural experiences. So here's explore our SAE and explore the SAE jacket packet. So here's our videos, and then here's going to be the reading portion. And then after you learn about the SAEs, you're going to shuffle through the deck. So I click on here so you can, there's a download, or there's a down arrow. I'm going to shuffle through this deck, okay, presented by the third student at the table. So everybody is going to look through these because these are your SAE ideas. So if I go to animal systems, it's going to bring me up different ideas for SAEs in the animal world, okay? So once you've either watched the video set or read the packet, you're going to explore your SAE cards, okay?